CBSUAC Pocket College of Education has been producing globally competitive teachers since 1993 and is always true to its commitment to producing competent graduates, a home of experts in education. It offers one of the best education programs in the region through empowering students to become teachers, principals, superintendents, and even beyond the job they have imagined. The College of Education is also active in extending quality services to the community through research-based extension services that caters training to the stakeholders, thereby ensuring lifelong learning and innovation. Through the leadership of the present Dean, Dr. Ana Maria A. Bonito, together with the chairpersons of the three programs, Professor Mia N. Iborda for BS Ed, Mrs. Mercy M. Almonte for BE Ed, and Professor Evangelina C. Pamada for BTL Ed. The College of Education does not only offer education, but it also gives legacy. The areas of specialization offered by the BSA program are Science, English, Filipino, and Mathematics. The program culminates with an intensive practice teaching in different secondary schools in Libmanan and Sipaka, where student teachers receive active mentoring from highly experienced professional teachers. Currently, the CBSUA comes up with its own site called Virtual Learning Portal, where teachers migrate modules, lesson, and activities. In other words, VLP is the main tool for teaching learning process this pandemic for online education. This virtual learning portal is a classroom-like software platform where users can learn, interact, communicate, view, and discuss their content. This is one of the latest trends in CBSUA educational system that is transforming the learning environment. Another developed instructional material that is being utilized by 100% of the faculty in the program is the use of Mojo for both online and modular educational skin. The Mojo composition was designed by the Committee on Instructional Materials and went a thorough evaluation by the faculty of different disciplines. Research journals of the college is an avenue for students' publication and dissemination of research findings. In the same manner, faculty development has been defined as that wide range of activities that institutions apply to support faculty members' roles. These included programs designed to improve the performance of faculty members in education, research, in administration as well as augmenting organizational capacities in culture. In response to this, the Dean of the College, Dr. Ana Maria A. Bonito, attended the 8th Evaluation Meeting Pre-Service Student Teachers Exchange in the Southeast Asia last November 2018 at Kibulsong Kram Rahabat University. This aims to intensify partnership and collaboration among the partner universities. This evaluation meeting is an opportunity to assess the performance, learning, and experiences of the exchange students. Students also engage on international endeavor in response to one of the goals which is to intensify internationalization. Moreover, it serves as a leeway of adapting new and effective strategies from other universities. Some students experience their practice teaching outside the country. One of those is Mr. James Carlo P. Frias, a VS Ed Science student who became a participant of Simeo Student Internship Program in Indonesia. The university accommodates as well exchange students from Indonesia, namely Nojana Ayo Ristanti from Kunjuruhan Malang University, and Nurul Mutia from the University of Muhammadiyah Sumatera Utara who stayed for months and flexibly adapt to the culture and teaching pedagogy of the college. At present, the college has two participants for International Credit Transfer Program launching at Vives University, Belgium. These students are Mr. Archie A. Perpetua, a BS in Science student, and Ms. Mary Franz Malto, a BS in English. They are enrolled in the Global Sustainability and Engagement Program. The College of Education has its flagship program called SPARK. 
This extension program aims to address the interfacing of the seven university extension objectives resulting for sustainable human living. The flagship programs are created to create a clear path for the extension service unit programs and activities. Project SHARE, commonly known as Sharing Holistic Agri-Based Research Outcomes Extension, aims to empower communities by providing extension services such as capability enhancement and techno transfer. More so, since this pillar covers the research-based extensions, the COEB has said through its faculty, Professor R.C. D. Billiere conducted research on the cultivation of tropical mushroom entitled Optimal Condition and Mycelial Growth Performance of Cisophyllum commune in various indigenous media and Morphometrics Identification and Species Listing of Edible Mushroom in Bicol Natural Park. The research findings of these undertakings were implemented through the conduct of extension activities such as Tropical Mushroom Cultivation for Muslim Community of Tiblis Ipokot Camarines Ur, Cultivation and Production of Kabuteng Sagi and Kabuteng Pamaypay and Various Agricultural Waste, in cultivation of tropical species of edible mushroom in the Philippines which aim to introduce significance of mushroom production and its health benefits. Transform agricultural waste into highly acceptable materials used in propagating mushrooms and provide livelihood projects and opportunities for the people in the locality. Mrs. Bernadette Parado, a resident of Barangay Tibla Sipocket Camarines Route during the monitoring and interview to the impact of the extension services rendered by the college. Ako po si Bernadette Parado, uh, nagmula sa Tibla Sipocket Camarines Route. So far naman, madami kaming natutunan during the training na nai-apply na naman namin nung, nung mayroon na kaming mga fruiting bags na pinagsisimula. Naging maganda talaga yung outcome ng mushroom. Every time po na nagpipik kami nung, nung mushroom, talagang inaano po namin sa logbook. Mayroon po talaga kaming logbook na, na nakalagay yung date kung kailan siya inharvest, ilang kilo yung naharvest, sino yung bumili. 100 na fruiting bags, siguro na ano lang namin yun within 2 months. Yung na, na ipon po namin is 4,000 pesos. Mahigit pa, bukod pa po doon sa mga naiulam namin. Laki po ang pasasalamat namin na dinala nyo po dito sa Tibli ang, ang uh, mushroom, mushroom production. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa si Bishu Isipokot na dinala, na dinala nila sa amin yung pagpapatuko ng mushroom na kumbaga malaking, malaking tulong at magiging mas malaking tulong pa sa family, family income namin and siguro pati din sa parang health. Karaming salamat po sa sa ibinigay na livelihood ng ng CDC. Project Promote, also known as practicing relevant outcomes-based mechanisms, operations and training enhancement. Aims to provide sustainable livelihood trainings, health education and environmental management. The COE Extension Services also respond to various requests such as the call of the Department of Trade and Industry, Go Negosha Center to provide resource speakers to its trainings. Project Alive for adequate competencies for lifelong learning with innovative pedagogy and values-oriented extension. Aims to strengthen and enhance learners' capability to learn new knowledge, essentials for education. The beneficiaries of this project are the Alternative Learning System learners of the 1st District of Sipoca. From year 2017, the College of Education has implemented and spearheaded activities to suffice the needs of us. This is evident on the active partnership of the Bureau of Alternative Learning System based in Sipoca area. The BSED and BED, through its literacy and numeracy initiatives, conducted various trainings such as seminars on values formation, literacy month, and seminar workshop on basic technical writing. Ms. Marisol Colores, an else learner and a beneficiary of the Sbung Bunung program of the College of Education, BSED. Ako po si Marisol S. Colores. I'm 32 years old. Na-refresh po kami ulit sa mga subjects, sa mga tinuro po nila sa amin. Kaya po, marami po kami nagtulans during the time Dahil po sa extension service, is marami po kaming natutunan. That time po ma'am is marami pong nakapasa sa amin. Maraming maraming pisalamat po sa mga extension service po na, na 
tumulong po sa amin para po ma makapasa po kami kasi po maraming napakalating tulong po na nangyari po na naturo ang mga extension service po at nakapasa po ako sa Alpha. Ngayon po ay college na rin po ako at mga kagraduate na rin po ako. Establishing and maintaining rapport with stakeholders is a foundation to deliver effective and efficient monitoring of extension activities. Hence, the College of Education and Extension Services Unit partakes in various MOA signing with institution, local government unit, and private sectors. These widens and broadens the reach of the services being delivered by the program. The college develops various information, education, and communication materials to further supplement the needs of its stakeholders and beneficiaries in the printed materials. The FB page posts updates and announcements of its activities, with 6,597 people reached and 1,443 post engagements. The CBSUAC Pocket proudly introduces the College of Education as one of the well-known and prominent departments in the campus. This program is tasked to seek, discover, interpret, and communicate knowledge, and to put knowledge into work. To do this effectively, BSA Department is developing the faculty into competent and innovative teaching force. In order to be beneficial to the university and to the communities, the BSA faculty has ventured in innovative researches in order to support the university in developing viable and responsive knowledge and technologies. One of the intellectual contribution of the faculty is research, which includes published researches, completed researches, and research presentations which are recognized all over the country. Professor Arce Di Bolliere, a faculty of the College of Education, represented the institution to the Simeo C. Teacher Pivot Lecture Series, which was aired on August 20, 2020, with its research findings on tropical mushroom cultivation. The faculty is also actively participating in gender and development activities, wellness Olympics, earthquake drills, team buildings, and extension activities. The BSF faculty has received multi-awards and recognition for their exemplary performance in the name of Professor Imelda Emma Blau, who bagged the Luguro Award for exemplifying her excellence as mentor of future teachers. Professor Benelda B. Metron was awarded as the Guru Award for Outstanding Achievement in Teaching and Learning Process. The ESL faculty raised the competence and esteem of the students and the stakeholders, making them dignified, productive, proactive, fulfilled, and empowered citizens of communities. College of Education conducted lab review to help alumni in preparation for the licensure examination for teachers. The review activity commenced in May until September of the year. The review of the BSA graduates focused on the general education, professional education, and field of specialization. Final coaching was conducted to ensure that all the needed learning areas is delivered and acquired. Thus, the aim of helping them to be familiarized with the process of examination should be attained. Then, pre-board examination is done as the last step to assess the readiness of the lab takers and if all the needed inputs are attained. The September 2019 lab result shows that BS had got 56.44% passing percentage, which was above the national passing percentage of 39.69%. Data revealed that the average performance of the BSE graduates from March 2017 to September 2018 is 45.54%, while the average national passing percentage for the said year is 35.90%. These further shows that the performance of BSE graduates for the three consecutive years is 26.85%, higher than the average national passing percentage. These data only indicate that the BSA graduate of CBS or AC Pop-Up performed well and led for the past three years. The BSA graduate who majored in Filipino got first the third place in the registry of qualified applicants. College of Education graduates are gathered for a mass and program was prepared by the College of Education. The simple effort adds courage, hope and support to the best takers as they conquer the battle.
Trivia to the Lead Passer is an annual event of the College of Education. We give honor to the graduates who successfully attained eligibility to teach and enter the professional work of teaching. The university shows appreciation for the achievement of their alumni by giving monetary incentives to those lead takers for making on the top 10 among the lead examiners in the College of Education. Mr. Jericho F. Balmes, the new president of Teachers Organizations of the Philippines, is an alumnus of CBS Racy Pocket, a graduated Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Biological Science. The BSF alumni maximized their potential up to the highest level where they were able to compete not just at the national level but in the international endeavor as well. CBSUA is a future-ready institution and envisions to be a center of excellence in education who promises to cater the demands and challenges of the changing world towards achieving milestones of the 4.0 eras. CBSUAC Pocket College of Education has been producing globally competitive teachers since 1993 and is always true to its commitment to producing competent graduates, a home of experts in education. It offers one of the best education programs in the region through empowering students to become teachers, principals, superintendents, and even beyond the job they have imagined. The College of Education is also active in extending quality services to the community through research-based extension services that caters training to the stakeholders, thereby ensuring lifelong learning and innovation. Through the leadership of the present Dean Dr. Ana Maria A. Bonito, together with the chairpersons of the three programs, Professor Mia N. Iborda for BS Ed, Mrs. Mercy M. Almonte for BE Ed, and Professor Evangelina C. Pamada for Vitale. The College of Education does not only offer education, but it also gives legacy. The areas of specialization offered by the BSA program are Science, English, Filipino, and Mathematics. The program culminates with an intensive practice teaching in different secondary schools in Libmanon and Sipaka where student teachers receive active mentoring from highly experienced professional teachers. Currently, the CBSUA comes up with its own site called Virtual Learning Portal, where teachers migrate modules, lesson, and activities. In other words, VLP is the main tool for teaching learning process this pandemic for online education. This virtual learning portal is a classroom-like software platform where users can learn, interact, communicate, view, and discuss their content. This is one of the latest trends in CBSUA educational system that is transforming the learning environment. Another developed instructional material that is being utilized by 100% of the faculty in the program is the use of Mojo for both online and modular education skin. The Mojo composition was designed by the Committee on Instructional Materials and went a thorough evaluation by the faculty of different disciplines. Research journals of the college is an avenue for students' publication and dissemination of research findings. In the same manner, faculty development has been defined as that wide range of activities that institutions apply to support faculty members' roles. 
These included programs designed to improve the performance of faculty members in education, research, and administration, as well as augmenting organizational capacities in culture. In response to this, the Dean of the College, Dr. Ana Maria A. Bonito, attended the 8th Evaluation Meeting Free Service Student Teachers Exchange in the Southeast Asia last November 2018 at the Bolsong Kram Rahabad University. This aims to intensify partnership and collaboration among the partner universities. This evaluation meeting is an opportunity to assess the performance, learning, and experiences of the exchange students. Students also engage on international endeavor in response to one of the goals, which is to intensify internationalization. Moreover, it serves as a leeway of adapting new and effective strategies from other universities. Some students experience their practice teaching outside the country. One of those is Mr. James Carlo P. Frias, a VSL Science student who became a participant of Simeo Student Internship Program in Indonesia. The university accommodates as well exchange students from Indonesia, namely Nojana Ayo Ristanti from Kunjuruhan Malang University, Inurul Mutia from the University of Muhammadiyah Sumatera Utara, who stayed for months and flexibly adapted to the culture and teaching pedagogy of the college. At present, the college has two participants for International Credit Transfer Program launching at Vives University, Belgium. These students are Mr. Archie A. Perpetua, a BS in Science student, and Ms. Mary Franz Malto, a BS in English. They are enrolled in the Global Sustainability and Engagement Program. The College of Education has its flagship program called SPARC. This extension program aims to address the interfacing of the seven university extension objectives resulting for sustainable human living. The flagship programs are created to create a clear path for the extension service unit programs and activities. Project SHARE, commonly known as Sharing Holistic Agri-Based Research Outcomes Extension, aims to empower communities by providing extension services such as capability enhancement and techno transfer. More so, since this pillar covers the research-based extensions, the COE BSed through its faculty, Professor R.C.D. Billiere conducted research on the cultivation of tropical mushroom entitled Optimal Condition and Mycelial Growth Performance of Cisophyllum commune in various indigenous media and morphometrics identification and species listing of edible mushroom in Bicol Natural Park. The research findings of these undertakings were implemented through the conduct of extension activities such as Tropical Mushroom Cultivation for Muslim Community of Iblis Ipoca Camarinosaur Cultivation and Production of Kaboteng Sagi and Kaboteng Pamaypay and Various Agricultural Waste in cultivation of tropical species of edible mushroom in the Philippines which aim to introduce the significance of mushroom production and its health benefits. Transform agricultural waste into highly acceptable materials used in propagating mushrooms and provide livelihood projects and opportunities for the people in the locality. Mrs. Bernadette Parado, a resident of Barangay Tibla Sipocat Camarines Group, during the monitoring and interview to the impact of the extension services rendered by the college. Ako po si Bernadette Parado, uh, nagmula sa Tibla Sipocat Camarines Group. So far naman, madami kaming natutunan during the training na nai-apply na naman namin nung, nung mayroon na kaming mga fruiting bags na pinagsisimula. Naging maganda talaga yung outcome ng mushroom. Every time po na nagpipik kami nung, nung mushroom, talagang inaano po namin sa logbook. Mayroon po talaga kaming logbook na nakalagay yung date kung kailan siya harvest ilang kilo yung na-harvest, sino yung bumili. 100 na fruiting bags, siguro na ano lang namin yun within 2 months. Yung na, na ipon po namin is 4,000 pesos. Mahigit pa, bukod pa po doon sa mga naiulam namin. Laki po ang pasasalamat namin na dinala nyo po dito sa Tibli ang, ang uh, mushroom.
mushroom mushroom production. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa si Bisho Easy Pocot na dinala, ni, dinala nila sa amin yung pagpapatuko ng mushroom na kumbaga malaking malaking tulong at magiging mas malaking tulong pa sa family family income namin and siguro pati din sa parang health. Maraming salamat po sa sa ibinigay na livelihood ng uh, Project Promote, also known as Practicing Relevant Outcomes-Based Mechanisms, Operations and Training Enhancement, aims to provide sustainable livelihood trainings, health education, and environmental management. The COE Extension Services also respond to various requests such as the call of the Department of Trade and Industry, Go Negosho Center to provide resource speakers to its trainings. Project Alive for Adequate Competencies for Lifelong Learning with Innovative Pedagogy and Values Oriented Extension aims to strengthen and enhance learners' capability to learn new knowledge, essentials for education. The beneficiaries of this project are the Alternative Learning System learners of the 1st District of Sipol. From year 2017, the College of Education has implemented and spearheaded activities to suffice the needs of us. This is evident on the active partnership of the Bureau of Alternative Learning System based in Sipokot area. The BSED and BED, through its literacy and numeracy initiatives, conducted various trainings such as seminars on values formation, literacy month, and seminar workshop on basic technical writing. Ms. Marisol Colores, an ALS learner and a beneficiary of the Sbung Bunung program of the College of Education, BSN. Ako po si Marisol S. Colores. I'm 32 years old. Na-refresh po kami ulit sa mga subject, sa mga tinuro po nila sa amin. Kaya po, marami po kami nagtulang during that time. Dahil po sa extension service, is marami po kami natutunan. That time po, ma'am, is marami pong nakapasa sa amin. Maraming maraming po salamat po sa mga extension service po na, na tumulong po sa amin para po ma, makapasa po kami kasi po maraming napakalaking tulong po na nangyari po na naturo ang mga extension service po at nakapasa po ako sa alpha. Ngayon po ay college na rin po ako at makakagraduate na rin po ako. Establishing and maintaining rapport with stakeholders is a foundation to deliver effective and efficient monitoring of extension activities. Hence, the College of Education and Extension Services Unit partakes in various MOA signing with institution, local government unit, and private sectors. These widens and broadens the reach of the services being delivered by the program. The college develops various information, education, and communication materials to further supplement the needs of its stakeholders and beneficiaries in the printed materials. The FB page posts updates and announcements of its activities, with 6,597 people reached and 1,443 post engagements. CBSUAC Pocket proudly introduces the College of Education as one of the well-known and prominent departments in the campus. This program is tasked to seek, discover, interpret, and communicate knowledge, and to put knowledge into work. To do this effectively, BSA Department is developing the faculty into competent and innovative teaching force. In order to be beneficial to the university and to the communities, the BSA faculty has ventured in innovative researches in order to support the university in developing viable and responsive knowledge and technologies. One of the intellectual contributions of the faculty is research, which includes published researches, completed researches, and research presentations which are recognized all over the country. Professor Arce Di Bellieri, a faculty of the College of Education, represented the institution to the Cineo C. Teacher Pivot Lecture Series which was aired on August 20, 2020 with its research findings on tropical mushroom cultivation. The faculty is also actively participating in gender and development activities, wellness Olympics, earthquake drills, team buildings, and extension activities. The BSM faculty has received multi-awards and recognition for their exemplary performance in the name of Professor Imelda Emma Blau, who bagged the Luguro Award for exemplifying her excellence as mentor of future teachers. 
Professor Benelda B. Metron was awarded as the Guru Award for an Outstanding Achievement in Teaching and Learning Process. ESM faculty raised the competence and esteem of the students and the stakeholders, making them dignified, productive, proactive, fulfilled, and empowered citizens of communities. The College of Education conducted lab review to help alumni in preparation for the licensure examination for teachers. The review activity commenced in May until September of the year. The review of the BSA graduates focused on the general education, professional education, and field of specialization. Final coaching was conducted to ensure that all the needed learning areas is delivered and acquired. Thus, the aim of helping them to be familiarized with the process of examination should be attained. Then pre-board examination is done as the last step to assess the readiness of the lab takers and if all the needed inputs are attained. The September 2019 lab result shows that BS had got 56.44% passing percentage, which was above the national passing percentage of 39.69%. Data revealed that the average performance of the BSE graduates from March 2017 to September 2018 is 45.54%, while the average national passing percentage for the said year is 35.90%. These further shows that the performance of BSE graduates for the three consecutive years is 26.85%, higher than the average national passing percentage. These data only indicates that the BSA graduate of CBS or AC Talcott performed well and led for the past three years. The BSA graduate who majored in Filipino got first the third place in the registry of qualified applicants. College of Education graduates are gathered for a mass and program was prepared by the College of Education. The simple effort adds courage, hope and support to the best takers as they conquer the battle. Tribute to the Lead Passer is an annual event of the College of Education. We give honor to the graduates who successfully attained eligibility to teach and enter the professional work of teaching. The university shows appreciation for the achievement of their alumni by giving monetary incentives to those lead takers for making on the top 10 among the lead examiners in the College of Education. Mr. Jericho F. Balmes. The new president of Teachers Organizations of the Philippines is an alumnus of CBS or AC Pocket, a graduated Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Biological Science. The BS at alumni maximized their potential up to the highest level where they we were able to compete not just at the national level but in the international endeavor as well. CBS UA is a future-ready institution and envisions to be a center of excellence in education who promises to cater the demands and challenges of the changing world towards achieving milestones of the 4.0 eras. CBSUAC Pocket College of Education has been producing globally competitive teachers since 1993 and is always true to its commitment to producing competent graduates, a home of experts in education. It offers one of the best education programs in the region through empowering students to become teachers, principals, superintendents, and even beyond the job they have imagined. 
The College of Education is also active in extending quality services to the community through research-based extension services that caters training to the stakeholders, thereby ensuring lifelong learning and innovation. Through the leadership of the present Dean, Dr. Ana Maria A. Bonito, together with the chairpersons of the three programs, Professor Mia N. Iborda for BS Ed, Mrs. Mercy M. Almonte for B. Ed, and Professor Evangelina C. Pamada for B. Ed. The College of Education does not only offer education, but it also gives legacy. The areas of specialization offered by the BSA program are Science, English, Filipino, and Mathematics. The program culminates with an intensive practice teaching in different secondary schools in Libmanan and Sipaka, where student teachers receive active mentoring from highly experienced professional teachers. Currently, the CBSUA comes up with its own site called Virtual Learning Portal, where teachers migrate modules, lessons, and activities. In other words, VLP is the main tool for teaching learning process this pandemic for online education. This virtual learning portal is a classroom-like software platform where users can learn, interact, communicate, view, and discuss their content. This is one of the latest trends in CBSUA educational system that is transforming the learning environment. Another developed instructional material that is being utilized by 100% of the faculty in the program is the use of Mojo for both online and modular education skin. The Mojo composition was designed by the Committee on Instructional Materials and went a thorough evaluation by the faculty of different disciplines. Research journals of the college is an avenue for students' publication and dissemination of research findings. In the same manner, faculty development has been defined as that wide range of activities that institutions apply to support faculty members' roles. These included programs designed to improve the performance of faculty members in education, research, in administration as well as augmenting organizational capacities in culture. In response to this, the Dean of the College, Dr. Ana Maria A. Bonito, attended the 8th Evaluation Meeting, Free Service Student Teachers Exchange in the Southeast Asia last November 2018 at Kibulsum Kram Rahabad University. This aims to intensify partnership and collaboration among the partner universities. This evaluation meeting is an opportunity to assess the performance, learning, and experiences of the exchange students. Students also engage on international endeavor in response to one of the goals, which is to intensify internationalization. Moreover, it serves as a leeway of adapting new and effective strategies from other universities. Some students experience their practice teaching outside the country. One of those is Mr. James Carlo P. Frias, a BS Ed Science student who became a participant of Simeo Student Internship Program in Indonesia. The university accommodates as well exchange students from Indonesia, namely Miljana Ayo Ristanti from Kunjuruhan Mala University, and Rul Mutia from the University of Muhammadiyah Sumatera Utara who stayed for months and flexibly adapt to the culture and teaching pedagogy of the college. At present, the college has two participants for International Credit Transfer Program launching at Vives University, Belgium. These students are Mr. Archie A. Perpetua, a BS in Science student, and Ms. Mary Franz Malto, a BS in English. They are enrolled in the Global Sustainability and Engagement Program. The College of Education has its flagship program called SPARK. This extension program aims to address the interfacing of the seven university extension objectives resulting for sustainable human living. The flagship programs are created to create a clear path for the extension service unit programs and activities. Project SHARE, commonly known as Sharing Holistic Agri-Based Research Outcomes Extension, aims to empower communities by providing extension services such as capability enhancement and techno-transfer. More so, 
Since this pillar covers the research-based extensions, the COE BSED through its faculty, Professor R.C.D. Billiere conducted research on the cultivation of tropical mushroom entitled Optimal Condition and Mycelial Growth Performance of Cisophyllum commune in various indigenous media and Morphometrics Identification and Species Listing of Edible Mushroom in Bicol Natural Park. The research findings of these undertakings were implemented through the conduct of extension activities such as Tropical Mushroom Cultivation for Muslim Community of Iblis Ipoca Camarinesur, Cultivation and Production of Kaboteng Sagi and Kaboteng Pamaypay and Various Agricultural Waste, in cultivation of tropical species of edible mushroom in the Philippines which aim to introduce significance of mushroom production and its health benefits. Transform agricultural waste into highly acceptable materials used in propagating mushrooms. And provide livelihood projects and opportunities for the people in the locality. Mrs. Bernadette Parado, a resident of Barangay Tibla Sipocat Camarines Group, during the monitoring and interview to the impact of the extension services rendered by the college. Ako po si Bernadette Parado, uh, nagmula sa Tibla Sipocat Camarines Group. So far naman, madami kaming natutunan during the training na nai-apply na naman namin nung, nung mayroon na kaming mga fruiting bags na pinagsisimula. Naging maganda talaga yung outcome ng mushroom. Every time po na nagpipick kami nung, nung mushroom, talagang inaano po namin sa logbook. Mayroon po talaga kaming logbook na, na nakalagay yung date kung kailan siya in-harvest, ilang kilo yung na-harvest, sino yung bumili. Uh, 100 na fruiting bags, siguro na ano lang namin yun within 2 months. Yung na, na ipon po namin is 4,000 pesos. Mahigit pa, bukod pa po doon sa mga naiulam namin. Laki po ang pasasalamat namin na dinala nyo po dito sa Tibli ang, ang uh, mushroom, mushroom production. Okay. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa si Bishwe Isipokot na dinala, na dinala nila sa amin yung pagpapatubo ng mushroom na kumbaga malaking, malaking tulong at magiging mas malaking tulong pa sa family, family income namin and siguro pati din sa parang health. Karaming salamat po sa sa ibinigay na livelihood ng ng CBC. Project Promote, also known as practicing relevant outcomes-based mechanisms, operations and training enhancement. Aims to provide sustainable livelihood trainings, health education and environmental management. The COE Extension Services also respond to various requests such as the call of the Department of Trade and Industry, Go Negosha Center to provide resource speakers to its trainings. Project Alive for adequate competencies for lifelong learning with innovative pedagogy and values-oriented extension. Aims to strengthen and enhance learners' capability to learn new knowledge, essentials for education. The beneficiaries of this project are the Alternative Learning System learners of the 1st District of Sipok. From year 2017, the College of Education has implemented and spearheaded activities to suffice the needs of us. This is evident on the active partnership of the Bureau of Alternative Learning System based in Sipok area. The BSED and BED, through its literacy and numeracy initiatives, conducted various trainings such as seminars on values formation, literacy month, and seminar workshop on basic technical writing. Ms. Marisol Colores, an else learner and a beneficiary of those Boom Boom program of the College of Education BSED. Ako po si Marisol S. Colores. I'm 32 years old. Na-refresh po kami ulit sa mga subjects, sa mga tinuro po nila sa amin. Kaya po, marami po kami nagtulas during the time po. Dahil po sa extension service, is marami po kaming natutunan. That time po, Mag, is marami pong nakapasa sa amin. Maraming marami po salamat po sa mga extension service po na, na tumulong po sa amin para po ma, makapasa po kami kasi po maraming napakalating tulong po na nangyari po na naturo ang mga extension service po at nakapasa po ako sa Alfred. Ngayon po ay college na rin po ako at mga kagraduate na rin po ako. Establishing and maintaining rapport with stakeholders is a foundation to deliver effective and efficient monitoring of extension activities. 
Hence, the College of Education and Extension Services Unit partakes the various MOA signing with institution, local government unit, and private sectors. These widens and broadens the reach of the services being delivered by the program. The college develops various information, education, and communication materials to further supplement the needs of its stakeholders and beneficiaries in the printed materials. The FB page posts updates and announcements of its activities, with 6,597 people reached and 1,443 post engagements. The CBSUAC Pocket proudly introduces the College of Education as one of the well-known and prominent departments in the campus. This program is tasked to seek, discover, interpret, and communicate knowledge, and to put knowledge into work. To do this effectively, BSA Department is developing the faculty into competent and innovative teaching force. In order to be beneficial to the university and to the communities, the BSA faculty has ventured in innovative researches in order to support the university in developing viable and responsive knowledge and technologies. One of the intellectual contributions of the faculty is research, which includes published researches, completed researches, and research presentations which are recognized all over the country. Professor Arce Di Bolliere, a faculty of the College of Education, represented the institution to the Simeo C. Teacher Pivot Lecture Series which was aired on August 20, 2020 with its research findings on tropical mushroom cultivation. The faculty is also actively participating in gender and development activities, wellness Olympics, earthquake drills, team buildings, and extension activities. The BSF faculty has received multi-awards and recognition for their exemplary performance in the name of Professor Imelda Emma Blau, who bagged the Luguro Award for exemplifying her excellence as mentor of future teachers. Professor Benelda B. Metron was awarded as the Guru Award for Outstanding Achievement in Teaching and Learning Process. BSM faculty raised the competence and esteem of the students and the stakeholders, making them dignified, productive, proactive, fulfilled, and empowered citizens of communities. College of Education conducted lab review to help alumni in preparation for the licensure examination for teachers. The review activity commenced in May until September of the year. The review of the BSA graduates focused on the general education, professional education, and field of specialization. Final coaching was conducted to ensure that all the needed learning areas is delivered and acquired. Thus, the aim of helping them to be familiarized with the process of examination should be attained. Then, pre-board examination is done as the last step to assess the readiness of the lab takers and if all the needed inputs are attained. The September 2019 lab results shows that BS had got 56.44% passing percentage, which was above the national passing percentage of 39.69%. Data revealed that the average performance of the BSE graduates from March 2017 to September 2018 is 45.54%, while the average national passing percentage for the said year is 35.90%. These further shows that the performance of BSE graduates for the three consecutive years is 26.85%, higher than the average national passing percentage. These data only indicates that the BSA graduate of CBS or AC Pop-Up performed well and led for the past three years. The BSA graduate who majored in Filipino got first the third place in the registry of qualified applicants. College of Education graduates are gathered for a mass and program was prepared by the College of Education. The simple effort adds courage, hope and support to the best takers as they conquer the path. Tribute to the Lead Passer is an annual event of the College of Education. We give honor to the graduates who successfully attained eligibility to teach and enter the professional work of teaching. The university shows appreciation for the achievement of their alumni by giving monetary incentives to those lead takers for making on the top 10 among the lead examiners in the College of Education. Mr. Jericho F. Balmes, 
the new president of teachers organizations of the Philippines, is an alumnus of CBS or AC Pocket, a graduated bachelor of secondary education major in biological science. The BSAT alumni maximize their potential up to the highest level where they were able to compete not just at the national level but in the international endeavor as well. CBSUA is a future-ready institution and envisions to be a center of excellence in education who promises to cater the demands and challenges of the changing world towards achieving milestones of the 4.0 eras. Once again, good morning to everyone and welcome to the fifth and last plenary session of our webinar, Do Now. Last Saturday, it was graced by the prolific speaker in the name of Professor Apple Jane Tagum, who shared her expertise about writing business correspondence and speech 101, the rudiments of speech communication in the workplace. Her discussion gave light on the importance of communication in the academe and in workplace. Today, as we open the last page of our webinar series, we will be involved again in insightful talks and discussions by our proficient and effective speakers for today. With this, I would like to extend my warm welcome to all of our participants composed of ALS coordinator, ALS teachers and learners, in-service teachers, pre-service teachers and teacher certificate program students. Also, especially to our campus administrator, Professor Zeus M. Lusitano, Extension Coordinator, Ma'am Vilma Lusitano, Dean of the College of Education, Dr. Ana Maria E. Bonito, Coordinator of the BS Ed Program, Sir Darrell M. Ocampo, Ma'am Imelda A. Nardo, EPS1 Division All Spokal Person, Sir Edgar A. Tabagan, EPS2 ALS. Sir Alan Alfilor, District ALS Coordinator, Libman and South District. And to our resource speakers for today, once again, a blessed day to everyone. I think we are all geared for today's webinar. And our participants are all eager to learn today. But before that, allow me first to introduce our speaker. Our speaker for today is a graduate of BS Psychology at Ateneo Tinaki University. She is a registered guidance counselor and assistant professor too, with over 26 years in service. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Professor Rhea B. Abergos. A virtual applause, please. Okay, so my task for this morning is uh, to give you uh, some tips on how to prepare for a job interview. Okay, so let us get into the point of how to prepare for a job interview. Okay, so preparing for a job interview can be one of the most stressful parts of the job search. We all know that um, pag naisip na natin that we will be interviewed, so papasok na dyan yung maraming bagay, like kakabahan tayo, uh, pwedeng isipin natin, ano kayo itatanong sa atin? So, yun palang may stress na tayo because, of course, we are not very sure of what questions will be asked of us. And that itself is actually, uh, ano yan, kumbaga, um, stressing for each and everyone. Okay, so the key to an interview is being well prepared. So, that's what we are going to do since I think several months na lang, uh, the pre service teachers here 
we'll be preparing for, uh, of course, we'll be graduating and then we'll be preparing for a job. Um, ito na rin yung paghahandaan. Part ng kanilang paghahandaan ay ito. Okay? So, preparation is the key and let us try to be prepared with these tips. Okay po? Now, uh, kahit na sabihin natin na nakakatakot yung interview itself or yung the thought of interview is already scary, kumbaga. But an interview is an opportunity to showcase your relevant strengths, experience, and interest in the position for which you are applying. So ito yung positive side niya. Um, dito mo mabibigyan ng chance yung sarili mo na maipakita doon sa iyong uh, future employer yung mga bagay na pwedeng mo ma-share sa kanila. Okay? So yan. So yun yung dapat nating bigyan ng pansin dito sa paghanda natin sa interview. So there are a few things to know in preparation for the interview. Okay? So sinasabi that interview requires advanced planning, preparation, and practice. So yung iba... They look at the mirror, they face the mirror, and then doon nagsasalita sila. They think of possible questions, and then parang pinapractice nila yung the way they uh, answer the questions. They look at the facial expression. So part yun ang practice na ginagawa ng iba. Ano po? And interview is an interactive process. So doon sa interview, of course, um, interactive siya, magtatanong, and then you really have to convince them. Uh, in the way you answer. So in an interview or an interview is a conversation with a purpose. So keep in mind kung bakit mo gusto yung trabaho. So yung preparation was really important so that you can be able to really answer questions well. Now interviewers are human too. So alam natin na lalo na kung meron tayong parang um, nalaman natin for example or nakilala natin yung mag interview and we know that the interviewer is somebody who is known to be strict, for example. So baka mamaya, yun pa lang, naku, si ano mag interview sa akin. So parang uh, si principal or si supervisor, so mahigpit yun, sabi nila. So yun pa lang, parang ano, baka mamaya ma-paralyze niyo yung brain natin. And we cannot be able to think well. So, pero isipin natin that interviewers daw are human, too, of course. And you too have decisions in the interview process. So, uh, Hindi lamang yung interviewer ang pwedeng magtanong, but later on malalaman natin dun sa aking discussion that you too can ask questions in the interview. Ano po? Okay, so these are just few things to know uh, bago tayo magsimula. Okay, so in the preparation for the job interview, meron daw tatlong bagay na uh, this will be part of what we are going to discuss this morning. So una is the preparation that is before the interview. And of course, during the interview, it's how we communicate with the interviewer and at the same time, what happens after the interview, which sinasabi na it's okay to have a follow-up. Okay po? So pag-usapan natin yan. So before the interview, what is important daw is, of course, you have been interested to apply to a particular company. And... Minsan, kaya ka tinawag for an interview kasi nakita na nila yung um, information about you. So for example, they have received already your application letter and sometimes marami kang kasabay na nag-apply. And maybe they have trimmed it down and napili ka. Isa ka sa napili sa maraming mga nag-apply. And so yon kapag na-schedule ko for an interview, what you have to do first, is to research the company. So in, in our case, since we are, or you are pre-service teachers, um, siyempre yung skwelahan. So after graduation, some of you will be applying for private school, di ba? So since uh, hindi natin alam kung may schedule na ba ang, ang licensure exam uh, after na graduation nyo, so yung iba, eh, hindi kayo papayag na um, wala kayong maging work while waiting sa licensure exam, so, ang gagawin ng iba dyan for sure will be applying for private schools. Okay? So, it might be important to first determine if you are a good fit for the position and the company. So, since generally, sa nasa, nasa atin ngayon, uh, sabi ko mag-apply sa schools, but there are still some 
I know, may mga graduate ng education na minsan nag-start sila ng job na hindi related. So po, pwede nag-apply kayo sa ibang sa company. And kailangan mong ano, um, mag-research tungkol doon sa ina-apply yan. So review the required skills and expectations carefully. So ano ba yung hinahanap nila? Um, uh, fit ka ba? Uh, qualified ka ba doon sa hinahanap nila? Okay, so ano ba yung hinihingi doon? Yung mga in-expect in nila in terms of their applicant. And then the interview will, interviewer will expect that you have taken the time to read about their company. So syempre, nag-research ka nga, binasa mo. Maybe website will help a lot. Pupunta ka sa website nila, titingnan mo uh, yung mga bagay tungkol sa kanila. So that you are, are well-versed tungkol doon sa company nila. And most likely, you will be asked questions relating to the company and its culture. Okay, so since expected talaga ng mga uh, interviewer na nagre-research ang applicant tungkol sa kanilang um, organization, so expect mo yan. So for example naman, sa school, ano pa rin tayo? We still have to look into um, information tungkol. Laba private nga ito, so tingnan natin. Ano ba yung mission vision niya? Okay, so ano ba yung record niya in terms of siguro baka tanungin ka bakit gusto mo mag-apply sa kanila. So, kailangan ma malaman mo yung mga bagay-bagay tungkol sa um, school nila or sa company. Now, these are example yung po pwede natin na uh, i-research or tingnan or ilagay sa isip natin when we search for the company or for the school. So, what is unique about them? Okay, so po pwede rin kasing tanungin ka na ano, ano ba sa palagay mo yung uniqueness ng company ko namin or ng school na ito other than the other schools. Kasi sasabihin niyan, for example, sa Libmanan, so meron dyang ilang private school, sasabihin sa'yo, bakit mo nagustuhan mag-apply sa amin? Bakit hindi dun sa iba? Okay? So who are their competitors? Who are the key people? So syempre dapat alam mo yung head of the office. So kailangan kilala mo yung, for example, administrator principal or kung sino man yung key officials na dapat nakilala mo. Okay, what is the structure? So, by knowing the structure, you can be able, of course, to know kung sino yung mga tao na naando. So, what are the target market? If it's a company, so ano ba yung target market nila? Now, what is their mission and goals? As I was telling you earlier, importante na malaman natin yung goal, yung mission, kasi doon natin makikita kung ano yung klase ng culture na meron siya. Okay, yung school or yung company. So write down several reasons why would you like to work for that company. So kasi kapag nasulat mo na yun, may baon ka that you can be able to answer uh, them if they ask them this question na bakit mo gusto pumunta sa amin? So, bakit gusto mo magtrabaho sa company namin or sa school na ito? Okay? So yun. So before the interview, kailangan mo rin daw mag-practice and prepare. So, kanina, I, I mentioned about looking at the mirror. So, syempre, uh, um, the way you answer, tinitingnan mo yung sarili mo. And then, the facial expression, of course, will be uh, observed doon. Kasi kailangan daw, meron kang positive atmosphere during the interview. So, kailangan yung mukha mo rin will, will uh, radiate positively. So, kailangan na kaaya-aya yung yung iyong uh, aura during the interview. So learn to articulate your strengths and weaknesses and emphasize the positive contributions you can make. So possibly kasi or possible kasi na tanungin ka kung ano yung mga strength mo. But of course, po pwede rin tanungin. What are your weaknesses? Now you can be able to or you should siguro try to learn na pag-aralan Pag tinanong ka niyan, how can you be able to articulate these things? So, paano mo siya sasagutin ng maayos, ng maganda, na talking about your weakness, hindi siya masyadong uh, magiging, magiging negative yung dating. Ano po? Okay? And emphasize the positive contributions you can make. So, guro highlighting what you can do for the, the school or for the company. So, for example, um, of course, you are graduate already, but other than your degree, what can you offer? What can you share? Okay, so, important daw ngayon that you have uh, a separate skill other than your degree. So, yung iba, um, halimbawa, you have been, for example, si Archie, uh, nagisang ano yun, nagisang editor-in-chief 
So that could be a lot of help, I know. So po pwede na he can offer dun sa school na I can be the moderator for the school paper. So yung mga gano'n. Send others. Okay po? And since we are um, preparing for the interview, I have prepared some questions lang which are considered to be traditional questions. Okay? So una, po pwede raw na tanungin ka ng, ito yung traditional questions talaga na time and again tinatanong siya, tell me about yourself. Okay? So, kapag tinanong ka ng tell me about yourself, so hindi kailangan yung sagot. Parang doon lang yan sa essay doon, sa entrance exam na who am I? So, when you are asked uh, to tell uh, the employer or the interviewer who, uh, about yourself, huwag nang mag-start ulit doon sa so, I am Drea B. Abergos, I am 18 years old. Uh, hindi na yun yung hinahanap nila. Parang they would like to hear more about you in terms of your pwede ng strength and uh, strengths, what you can contribute to the company, uh, skills perhaps, so, and other information na maaaring hindi mo na ilagay doon sa resume. Okay? So, po pwede, these are additional information na pwede makatulong para uh, mas ma-encourage yung employer or yung interviewer to hire you. Okay? So, why would you like to work for this company? So, yun. Your research will help to answer this question. So, kapag nag-research ka ng marami about the culture of the company, perhaps, so, po, pwede mo siguro sabihin that uh, the, uh, yes, the, the vision or the mission of the company is aligned with your own philosophy in life. Yung mga ganoon. And what are your short and long-term goals? Importante rin yan, tinatanong nila. Kasi, kapag tinanong ka nila ng short-term and long-term goals mo, um, this can tell them na magtatagal ba siya sa amin? mag stay kaya ito si, for example, na si Archie sa school namin? So, baka naman gagawin niya lang na training ground yung eskwelahan namin and then after a while, aalis na siya. So, usually, ganyan rin yung concern ng interviewer. I know na isa talaga yun sa purpose rin natin, di ba? Na kailang natin pumasok sa private uh, and then later on, lilipat rin tayo sa public. Pero yun, this is also a concern the interviewer since they wanted na uh, longer yung stay ng, ng mga empleyado sa kanila kasi syempre mahirap rin sa part ng isudyante na every year paiba-iba yung kanila mga teachers. Okay po? And why did you choose this particular field of work? So in your case, in the case of the pre-service teachers, so ang po pwedeng sabihin is bakit math? Bakit English? But science? Okay, why not other field? So, so po pwedeng yun yung itatanong. And of course, kailangan na rehearse mo na rin how you are going to answer uh, this question na makukonvince mo yung ano yung teacher na or yung interviewer rather the dun sa sagot mo. Okay? And what can you do for us? What can we do for you? So ano ba yung pwede na uh, magawa mo sa amin? And ano rin yung pwede din namin magawa sa iyo? So these are uh, traditional questions. So you might be asked questions from your resume. So, po pwede na hawak-hawak nila yon yung bio data for example, at titignan doon, and then magtatanong sila tungkol doon. Okay? So, you have to update your resume, and then at the same time, you have to be prepared to answer questions galing doon. So, tungkol naman yun sa sarili mo, kaya of course, you can answer it well. Okay? Uh, the next set of questions are actually called behavioral questions. So, bakit siya behavioral or why is it called behavioral questions? Uh, dahil ito ay mga tanong na nagsasabi tungkol sa uh, situations inside the company and situations na kung saan, paano mo i-handle yung certain situations na maaring uh, mangyari sa loob ng company. Okay, one could be give an example of what you did I'm sorry, that demonstrates or demonstrating you went an extra mile. Okay, so my counting ano yan, error. So give an example of, wo, uh, of what you did demonstrating you went an extra mile. Okay, so kailangan handa ka rin. Ano nga ba yung nagawa mo that more than what is expected of you? So meron tayong mga ginagawa and sometimes uh, we just work doon within, doon sa expectation ng job sa atin but of course there are some job that we do 
that is not in the ano yung tawag mo dyan, duties and responsibilities na po pwede natin sabihin na uh, nag-exceed ka doon sa ina-expect sa'yo. And you did uh, a remarkable um, contribution to the company. So, po pwede sa'yo yung isanong yan. Okay, or as a student, uh, kunyari bago kang, since ka-graduate pa lang na tayo, po pwede sa ating tanongin na ano yung ano, uh, what you did demonstrating you went the extra mile as a student, as a uh, as an undergrad, so ano daw yung ginawa natin? So po pwedeng isipin natin what are the things that we did uh, na nagawa uh, nung estudyante pa lang kayo ngayon uh, and you can actually uh, share it or share them with your interviewer. Give an example of recent failure and what you learned for that failure. Okay, so kailangan... Of course, wag uh, po pwede mo rin, uh, ano yan, kunyari baka isipin na, ay wala naman po akong na, ano, na, ano yan, na experience na, na failure. So po pwede rin tayo to come up with even small failure and how we are going to articulate it is what is important. Kasi tinitingnan nyo nung interviewer, paano mo na-overcome? Okay, ano yung nakuha mo na lesson from that particular experience? Okay, kasi tinitingnan niya, pag nandiyan ka na sa loob ng company, so how are you going to react if you experience Experience failure. Okay, describe a problem encountered recently and steps you took to solve the problem. So, ayan, yung mga na-encounter mo recently daw na problem and anong ginawa mo. And then, describe contributions that you can make to our company immediately upon hire. So, kapag hinahir ka ba namin, anong magagawa mo? Anong, anong mabibigay mo sa amin? So, that could be a question na po pwedeng ano. So, kailangan nito, uh, we have this in our mind, may idea tayo, si pagtinang tayo niyan, so what can be our best answer? Okay? So, again, before the interview, do not arrive late. Kasi so, paghandaan naman natin, before the, the night before, matulog tayo ng maaga, because it is not acceptable to be late for an interview. Obvious yun, siyempre. Baka mamaya nag-start yung interview, wala ka pa. Arrive early by accounting for traffic, weather, construction, loss in direction, etc. Ma'am, hello po. Muted ka po, ma'am. Sorry po. Ano kaya? Nag-intermittent connection ako. <laughs> Nawala bigla. Sige po. Uh, okay, balikan ko yung ano, yung... Kalina pa yung Archie? Sige. Apo, ma'am. Okay po. So yun, ano lang, uh, balikan ko lang yung arrive late. So, we have to, ano yan, we have to consider the, the traffic, the weather. Yan, baka mawala tayo, especially if we are in Manila, for example, baka may detour and so on. So, dito naman, arrive with a smile. So, hindi ito, uh, uh, arrive with a smile and of course, maintain pa rin yung posture kahit mahaba na yung pinagdaanan natin. Uh, kahit na malayo yung pinanggalingan mo papunta doon sa place, still, kailangan i-maintain natin yung good posture and a smiling face. Of course, um, handshake is not allowed nowadays in a face-to-face. So we can just greet the persons in the office politely kasi sa mga teacher, 
karamihan dito ay face-to-face ang interview. Ano po? So, magde-demo kayo niyan and then after the demonstration, may may interview. So, on-site talaga kayo. So, yan. You can do handshake before, pero ngayon, hindi nga tayo na-allowed. No? So, another is, before the interview, you turn your phone off. Ah, sorry, kulang ng F. Okay, turn off your phone. Kulang ng letter F. Now, or put it away. So, ilagay na lang sa bag, siguro, uh, yung vibration kasi, your vibrate mode can actually cause distractions pa rin. So, minsan, uh, maganda rin yung usapan, pero biglang may tumawag, biglang may nag-text, that can be a distraction. And that will not be helpful on your part. Okay? Sige po. Before the interview, be polite. Be kind and polite to everyone you come in contact with. Pagdating mo pa lang dun sa place, kahit sino pa yon, even the janitor, sinasabi na, you have to be polite with everyone. Employ employers could ask secretaries or other employees if certain applicants made a positive or negative impression on them. So yun, pinagtatanong din ang, kumusta ba yung ano nung dumating? Nag-greet ba siya? Pinansin ba kayo? So yung mga ganun. That's because that, that shows your attitude or that reflects your attitude. Okay? So, and that is a plus point kapag ka nakita nila na, ah, okay, uh, ano naman siya, positive in response. Okay? Or baka sabihin is na bero siya kasi hindi mo lang siya nag sa mga nakasalubong niya or mga tao. Okay? So, before the interview, dress to impress. Okay? So, generally, a job interview calls for you to wear a professional or business attire. So, I will not be discussing the, the attire because I know that that will be part of the discussion uh, by the next speaker this afternoon. But, siguro to emphasize lang, be as clean as possible. So, syempre, yung grooming natin ay importante. Ano po? So, nanggaling ka sa labas, bad hair day ka ba? So, before you enter the room, kailangan i-groom ulit natin yung ating sarili. Okay po? Smell nice, but subtle. So, wag naman tayong nagpabango ng malayo ka pa na, amoy ka na, or masyadong atititin sa ilong, kasi baka mamaya, may allergy yung interviewer mo, mag-hatsing yan, hindi matapos yung interview, or magkakaroon ka pa ng bad impression. Okay? And, yung mabango sa'yo, maaring hindi yan mabango sa iba. Uh, yun. Kasi syempre, may kanya-kanyang choices yan ng, ng pabango. Be well groomed. Okay po? So, nabanggit natin. So, grooming would cover yung kuko, and of course others you know so mahirap lang ang sa manila yung may experience ng iba na nag-travel ng bus for example lalo na kung ordinary um pagdating mo sa puntahan mo yung ilong mo ay before pandemic ang uh, yung ilong mo ay maitim na yan at the same time yung kuko mo madumi na so kailangan you have to prepare na makarating ka sa lugar na fresh ka pa rin so yun yung target mo because you have to dress to impress, not just of course the dress itself, but yung presentation mo ng sarili mo is very important. Okay po? Yung iba pwedeng nagdadala ng damit na pampalit. Parang mga emergency lang, pinawisan ka ng sobra, basang basa rin kilikili mo, so yung ganoon. So kailangan may, may plan B ka na ready. Okay? Okay, again, before the interview, check your mga typographical error ako, ano? Check your social media account. Bakit naman natin kailang i-check? Okay? So, sinasabi na three-quarters of interviewers check social media before an interview. Yun yung trend ngayon. Um, by looking at your social media, meron silang masasabi about sa'yo. Okay? So, be careful. Tingnan mga pinos. Tingnan kung ano yung mga klase ng mga nilagay. Uh, pinos natin doon. Interviewers with social media to better understand the person they are interviewing. It's a good idea to make sure that you are aware of your privacy settings and what your public posts are as it could potentially influence whether you get the job. Okay? So, yun. Um, be careful kung ano nilalagay natin. Maybe we are very strong on our political views and pinost natin yan. It's so happy na baka magkakontrahan kayo ng interviewer. O pwede yung mangyari. Kanyari, BBM siya. Uh, ikaw, iba naman. So, mga ganun. But uh, just uh, make sure na safe yung ating social media account. Ano? 
Kasi dyan talaga. Yung mga selfie mo dyan, tingnan mo kung ano namang itsura. Okay? So during the interview, again, what makes you stand out? Ano ba yung pwede mong gawin para mapansin ka so that you can stand out from the rest? Okay, during the interview, during na tayo, you make good eye contact with the interviewer. So importante na sabi natin, eyes is the window of the soul. And yung sincerity ay nakikita natin with our eye contact. Although sa ibang culture, yun, hindi masyad, binaban yung looking, lalo na kung authority, pero dito sa atin, sa kultura natin sa Pilipinas, dito rin, we, we advise that when you talk to someone, you look at the eyes. Di po, para nakikita yung insincerity and of course the eyes can also speak for you. Okay, body language is important. Okay, try not to fidget or touch your face or hair too often. Baka naman flip ka ng flip ng hair during the interview. Okay po, so baka hawak ka ng hawak ng mata mo kasi mascara mo ay nag-aano na, nag-melt na. Okay po, so try to avoid unnecessary body language and keep an upright posture. Okay po? So keep an upright posture so that is important. Usually, you just put your hands on your lap and yan, not make unnecessary movements or body language. Okay, be confident and energetic. So be confident in trying to answer and then of course the tone of your voice, baka naman napakahina and walang energy. Okay, so kailangan we manifest yung ating energy sa the way we answer the questions and how we carry ourselves can uh, tell how confident we are. So do not slouch. Sabi kanina, keep upright posture. Kapag ka nag-slouch ka, ayan, baka sabihin bored ka na or uh, you are underconfident. Okay? So be honest and listen carefully. So be attentive to the question being asked so that you answer the question to the best of your ability. Patapusin mo muna. Okay? Patapusin mo muna yung mga tanong kasi baka mamaya hindi mo nakuha yung essence ng tanong, sumagot ka na. Okay? Po, hindi naman siya pabilisan. Okay? What is important is you are able to get kung ano yung tinatanong niya and then you answer it to the best of your ability. Okay? So kaya makinig ng maigi. Okay, huwag pabibo. Okay, hindi yan pabilisan, maging attentive. So, during the interview, ayun, during the interview, uh, itong sinasabi ng question dito, you may ask question at the end of the interview. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina na hindi lamang yung interviewer ang pwedeng magtanong. Okay? You may ask question at the end of the interview. It's allowed. Huwag kayong mag-alala. So you have to prepare several questions as some will, an- will be answered during the natural course of the interview. So maaaring yung nakalista mong mga gustong itanong ay makikita mo nasagot na siya to the process. Pero meron dun mga maiiwan na questions that you can still ask the interview. So sabi natin kanina, interview is a two-way conversation. Asking question is one way to show you're interested in the job. So parang, ah, talaga interesado siya. Kasi nagtanong siya. It shows you have research about the organization. Ah, well-versed siya sa company. So talagang gusto niyang ma-hire sa company nito. Asking question will also help you how the job and the organization fit in your future career goals. So, kailangan magtanong ka kasi kailangan i-consider mo rin yung magiging future goals mo or career goals mo. Like, makakatulong ba siya sa future goals mo? Is the value of the company aligned with your own values or value system? So, yung may, is the mission of the company okay to you? So, mga questions na dapat mong itanong sa sarili mo rin because makakatulong ba siya dun sa future plans mo? Okay? Wag lang natin isipin yung ano, yung yung monetary side of it. Ano po? Wag lang natin isipin yung sweldo. O wag lang natin tingnan yung ngayon. Although of course, depende yun sa inyo. Pero kailangan nakatingin tayo on a long-term goal. Okay? Kailangan meron tayong projection on para sa future. Okay? So, 
what eh, ito naman pwede mo ring itanong sa kanila yung what does a typical day look like in the company or in the school kung gusto po ba yung yung typical day sa loob ng school so kung pwede silang mag-share na um uh, ganyan sasabihin nila labas sa school uh, sa face to face kasi yung inaano natin ano but of course po pwede rin silang mag-share sa iyo about what happens in the online uh, learning and then what are challenges what are the challenges what are challenges facing this position? So, for example, a certain position ay inaalok sa'yo. So, po pwede mong tanong, ano po ba yung mga challenges? Di ba yung mga kinakaharap nito? Okay? And how would you describe the company culture? So, po pwede sila yung mag-share sa'yo kung ano yung klase ng culture na meron sila sa loob. Okay? So, what kind of training do you provide? Okay lang naman magtanong mo. Meron po ba kayo mga training na pinaprovide sa mga bagong employee? Or ilang ilang taon po ba, sorry, ilang buwan po ba bago nyo nabibigyan ng training, for example, ang mga bagong hire. And you may add your questions with, can you tell me the next steps in the selection process? May I call you? When is the proper time? So, ito yung mga tanong na po pwedeng uh, i-ano natin sa kanila. Kasi po pwede naman na tawagan sila later on for follow-up. Okay, questions to avoid. Never ask about pay. Time off, benefit. Kailan po ako pwedeng mag-off? Magkano po yung benefit ko? Kailan po ako makakarikid ng benefit? You can ask this question sa after job offers being made. So marami na nagsasabi ngayon ng mga, mga tips for interview na okay lang daw magtanong nito. But it's best to ask this question after na-offer na sa iyong job. Kung hindi pa, sana ma-avoid mo. Never ask gossip. Uh, you have heard. Sabi daw po, yung may empleyado nyo, yung mga gano'n. Okay, never ask questions you can easily search or obvious questions. So, baka sabihin mo, ano ba naman to? Obvious na yan, tatanong pa. So, never ask how fast you can be promoted. So, ilang buwan po ako pwedeng mag-promote? Baka isipin naman nila, uh, ganun ka, ka, ano, you're just looking at the promotion or uh, the pay and not on the job itself. Hindi ka pa nga nakapasok, yun na yung hinahanap mo. Never ask about the interviewer's background. So, kahit pakilala mo siya, do not ask this question. Okay po? See? So, after the interview, what to do? So, you can send, take your notes. Okay, it is important that you send, uh, ito, optional naman ito sa atin. So, karamihan sa ibang bansa, or even in the Philippines, uh, pinapractice natin siya. Uh, thank you note at the same day of the interview to the person, persons with whom you interviewed, and thank you notes should be brief and concise. So yung iba, handwritten, nung face-to-face pa, pero yan, ngayon, ano na tayo? Um, tawag mo dyan? Electronic na tayo. Okay, it's okay to send thank you notes. And follow up. So allow a few weeks for the hiring process to unfold, then give the hiring manager a nice nudge to keep yourself and your capabilities active and their considerations by leaving a professional voicemail. Pwede voicemail. Yeah, or pwede na email pa rin na asking kung gusto po or just like to follow up uh, in my application and so on. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I, I think tapos na yung interview process. What I have here are type of interviews. So, ngayon, nauna yung video interview kasi we are now on the ano, we are now on online because of the pandemic nga. So video interviews are common. So make sure you are comfortable using the software before the interview. So gagamit ng Zoom, gagamit ng Google, Google Meet, or other ano, kung ano man yung pinapagamit. So beforehand, practice. Kung may presentation, practice pa rin para consume time. And then at least walang error. Minimal ang error. Okay? So, kung wala kang professional username, create, huwag pong maglagay. I remember one of my student ang nakalagay niya, TikTok. TikTok girl, I, I forgot. Kasi TikTok, hindi niya raw mabago kasi di ba may time frame. Dress professionally, use good body language and smile. So, set up your computer in a quiet space with a clean professional background. So, po pwedeng clear wall lang. Huwag na tayong maglagay ng maraming mga background background kasi minsan nakaka-distract yun sa mag interview Okay, have the outline points, what you, uh, what you want to make and your resume in front of you for reminders. Maglagay din daw ng tubig sa harap <laughs> kasi baka mamaya nanunuyo na ang lalamunan natin. Okay lang umunod ng tubig. Okay, another is phone interview. So, dati, before the, the 
pandemic phone interview is common. Again, arrange a quiet space without visual distractions and make sure you have, again, your resume okay, and black paper for my notes tayo, blank uh, paper for notes na pwedeng i-jot down mo yung kung anong importante yung details. Okay? And ensure you have good connection, both for video and phone interviews. Okay? So, I would like to add some uh, types of interviews. So, meron tayong tinatawag na screening interview. So, yung sabi ko kanina na bago ka tinawag for an interview or minsan bago sa final interview, there is already uh, a preliminary process na ginawa. And you will exchange information, focus on questions, yan. Uh, you will be asked about your skills, para mga preliminary questions, yun. Okay? Yan. So, po, pwede na may traditional and behavioral questions na dyan. Okay? And group interviews, so nangyayari yan. So, kung gusto ng employer na sabay-sabay na, para ma-save yung time, uh, as a group, tatawagin yun. Okay? So, wag kang maging passive during that time, but, uh, ano ka, mag-participate. Okay? Do not just be a passive um, participant, but try to assert by answering the questions. And there are panel interviews as well. Okay. Several interviewers gather to ask questions. Para rin again, time saving para sa kanila. Okay. So you want to respond first to the person asking the question and then make eye contact with the remainder of the group throughout the answer. Okay, so may mga strategy din kung sa pagtingin mo and then the way you answer the question. Okay. So, job interviews are like first dates, good impressions count, awkwardness can occur, and outcomes are unpredictable. Okay, so, however, uh, sabi nga niyan, scary the interview will be, uh, just have to prepare, keep calm, and nail that interview. Okay po, and that will be all. Thank you very much. At this juncture, as token of our appreciation for your time, it is my pleasure to present to you the Certificate of Commendation awarded to Mamreya B. Abergos. Allow me to read the certificate. Citation reads, Certificate of Commendation is hereby awarded to Rhea B. Abergos for sharing her knowledge and expertise as resource speaker during the event entitled Now for All Learners in-service and pre-service teachers, a webinar series, digital understanding of new normal modalities using Google application and upgrading of work-related skills with the team, preparing for a job interview held virtually by a Zoom meeting on November 20, 2021 at Central Bicol State University of Agriculture, Sipokot, Impig, Sipokot, Kamarimisur. Given this 20th day of November, 2021, at Central Vico State University of Agriculture, Sipokot, Camarini Sur. Signed by Zeus M. Lusitano, Campus Administrator. Let us give Bamreye a virtual applause. Announcement to our participants, the video lecture of the speakers on the entire webinar series of the UNAW is posted on the College of Education Extension Services Unit YouTube account you can review the videos for to gain more information and knowledge.